What's up world, Raging Redneck coming at you again from the uh, relatively flat areas of far eastern Ohio. Well, I got a new job, I got, I got a promotion within the same company. Nice to see that somebody uh, recognizes fucking talent once in a while. And it's a lot further away, a lot further than I was used to driving. My commute went from, you know, 15 minutes up to almost an hour, but... um. Hey, you know, there's oodles of overtime out this way, and uh, considering I'm a blue-collar man with uh, two children at home and I am funding my own retirement, gotta make hay while the sun shines. Yeah, so anyways, uh, there's jobs in Ohio that I got now, and yeah, it's maybe 50 miles, or 50 minutes of it is away from my house, uh, all highway driving, which isn't too bad, except... When you come to a fucking screeching standstill in construction. Now, it has nothing to do with the road crews. Them guys are out there, they're working hard out there in the rain or in the blazing sun or whatever. And they're just doing their job. And they're trying to make the highway better for all of us. It's not their fault. We've got a standstill for almost 20 minutes today. You want to know why? Because the right lane was closed. Now, I knew ahead of time that the right lane was closed, not because I drive through it every day, not because my redneck intuition kicked in and I figured that there was a reason that that lane would be closed. It was because of the giant flashing fucking signs that said right lane closed ahead for, you know, 15 miles before we got to the construction. Apparently, none of the jackasses that were in the fucking right lane up for five miles up to the fucking merge, saw the fucking sign or gave enough of a fuck about themselves or their fucking fellow man to get the fuck over and they jammed it all up to hell. And you know what pissed me off even worse than them people is the people who see that the, the traffic is stopped in the left lane, seeing the signs that the, the, the right lane is closed, but seeing that there's no traffic in the right lane. So they get in the right lane, they fucking hammer down, they pull up next to you and they're like, Put their turn signal on, they do a little fucking gay wave, and they try coming over. I'm going to tell you this right now. You see my truck coming down the road. Don't try pulling that shit with me. I run down the road with my hand on the fucking trigger. I'll drop this bitch in four low and push you over the fucking Jersey Bear. You try that shit on me. Man, there's a bunch of fucking jerks on the highway. So, how come no one from Canada can drive worth a fuck? I got to go through this, like, epicenter of outlet malls at fucking uh, Grove City, Pennsylvania. And there's always some dickhead, usually with Ontario plates, that can't make up his fucking mind which lane he wants to be in. And then he's got to go 90 fucking miles. And he won't decide which lane he wants to be in. Then he's going 10 under the speed limit until we get in the fucking work zone where he's going 15 over. No one in Ohio can really drive where the fuck he... I'll tell you something about Ohio. If you haven't been through Ohio, people will drive some junk in fucking Ohio. Man, you know all them little memes you see on Facebook, like the control arms that are zip-tied back together and bullshit like that? Plywood windows? Those vehicles are all in Ohio. Here's a good one. The other, the other day I got bitched at for swearing... On a Citizens Band radio, on a CB radio on Channel 19, where all these truckers fucking hang out, I get bitched at for swearing on it. You know, there, there, there's young people out there listening into this. So you're telling me in this world of iPads, iPhones, fucking laptops, all this crazy shit, these phones you can bolt to your fucking face for virtual reality. A lot of, a lot of 12-year-olds where you're from asking for CB radios for Christmas? Well, sometimes my young son's riding along with me, and I don't want him hearing that kind of language. Meanwhile, your daughter's in the back seat on the cell phone that you gave her that's fucking unrestricted, and she's trying to find a video of what a hot Carl is. Well, I guess that's it. If you're driving down 80, and you're going uh, westbound in the daylight, or eastbound at night, and you see my truck on the road... Get the fuck out of my way, because I got shit to do. Keep your children and your guns close. Save the hate mail, because I don't give a fuck.